quite strange. It's very rare for a riding to have the voters divided by a body of water, but that's the way it, uh, it happened in this particular riding. What's interesting here is you have a dynamic that is fairly helpful for the NDPs if they can get all their voters out in Burnaby, uh, but the Liberals and the Conservatives think they have a chance if they can motivate that North Vancouver voter uh, who tends to be a little bit older to show up and, and cast a ballot. Well, there's a lot of changes uh, within specific writings, and, and Surrey has been a little bit of a shift as far as the concerns that we see, uh, particularly when it comes to crime. Uh, it's different, for instance, when you're in Vancouver and there's a lot of people who are worried about how there's a limitation in what a federal government or your federal representative can do about it. But when it comes to crime, because they are still governed by the RCMP, you still need to talk to the federal government to get things done. The Delta voter tends to be fiercely independent. They've had Vicky Huntington as their MLA for the past couple of terms, so they're not really into party lines or party memberships. They'll figure out who the candidate they like is, is best in that particular election and vote for them. There are certain places where the fluctuation of the vote is not going to change dramatically as far as the allocation of seats. If there's a seat that was won by a conservative candidate or an NDP candidate the last time around with 51, 52 percent of the vote, even a drop in their support would enable them to win the seat if they get to 45 or 46 percent. It plays more of a role in some of the new ridings and especially in the urban areas where the Liberals are doing better. Uh, when you look at the Okanagan, when you look at the island, it really becomes a question of conservative versus NDP. Whereas when you're looking at the North Shore, for instance, there's a lot of support for the Liberal Party. They do very well. They could get some of those seats and the NDP is no longer a factor. So the three-party race makes sense at the national stage because you're measuring percentage of votes. But when you're looking at a seat-by-seat -seat scenario, it's not going to matter that much.